and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody in YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some more Grixis Control action. Um, I haven't been playing a whole lot of Grixis Control recently. That was a deck that I really liked at the beginning of the format with Nicol Bolas, Dragon God kind of being everywhere. But uh, I'm ready to uh, try it out some more. Um, and as you see here, we got a few changes from the last times that I've been playing at Grixis. So uh, you can see here, it says Grixis Control 2 because you know I just like I made a new deck to, to try this version. So basically, the main thing is I'm not I'm moving away from Discovery Dispersal. As you can tell here, I'm not playing Discovery. Uh, basically, I'm just not taking the time to cast Discovery and, and uh, surveil through the deck and everything. Um, so in, instead of playing Discovery, I have more threats. We got, we're got maxing out on our Narsets, so we can try to have a lot of Narsets that also help us find our other things. And then we're also playing um, a good amount of Planeswalkers at the top. So bef besides just playing Nicol Bolas Dragon Gods, which was kind of like all I was doing at the, the five mana slot, maybe and then a, like maybe a couple Enter the God Eternals, which I was pretty high on, I'm going with these Planeswalkers as well, Ugin's. In particular, I really like these days. Um, a lot of people are playing Planeswalkers where Ugin can come down and minus and dis destroy them. And plus, Ugin is a, an answer for Experimental Frenzy that we didn't have previously uh, in Grixis. So playing a couple of Ugins and then just a Liliana because of how powerful that card is. Um, got lots of sweepers um, with uh, all these mana creature decks running around as well. We want these Cry of the Canariums and Ritual of Soots for that reason. But yeah, so we're gonna gonna try out some some Grixis again. Uh, you know, like th so this is where my list is now. I moved the Ant of the God Eternals over to the sideboard. Got a couple Ashioks for the Command the Dreadhorde decks. I honestly don't know if I need these on Mordigos too much, but I got them over here. Um, you know, like they may do do something for us. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, yeah, I guess that's. Uh, yeah, this is, this is the list that I'm going with here today. So I'm going to go ahead and go on over to uh, Mythic to try this out. Looks like we're at number 256 to start with. We're going to go ahead and play five matches in Mythic with Grixis Control and kind of see how it's feeling these days in the metagame. <laughs> Playing 26 lands, uh, especially without Discovery. We want to make sure we can hit our land drops. So we got, got 26 of those because... Narset does a good job of like f filling your hand of finding other cards for you to play, but Narset does not do a good job of hitting land drops. So you want to play a, a decent amount of lands, you know, without uh, where <clears throat> uh, without Narset being able to help you in that case. I love Nicol Bolas Dragon God these days, and just this is just like one of my favorite cards. This is the the reason why I really like playing Grixis is because of this card. This this gold border, all cards that are that are two colors, all multicolor cards have a gold border. All right, well, unfortunately, we're playing Gates here. Got all our tap lands. I would like to find Ritual of Soot. That would certainly be helpful. Let's see if there's like a Nissa over here or something to take. Krasis and Masker Girl, we'll take the Krasis. Ditch the Narset. I could have played Narset next turn and dug for Ritual of Sip, but then, you know, not guaranteed to have that other land anyway. Hey, Jockback. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for that sub there. Getting those hype boats in there and everybody else getting the hype boats in there. Thank you very much. I leave the Golgari now. Well, so much for, for having the Narset there. Leaving the body. Yeah. Love everybody putting in hype boats for our resub there. Back to the 
shadows for now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you get the foil version of the hypo? You have to be a tier three sub. All right. Um, just double thought erasure. Gosh, that card is awesome. I don't have the mana for it. I'm still going to keep it. The, do the hypotes have a particular meaning? It was uh, basically, um, you know, like hype train is like a, a thing that a lot of people say. And um, just kind of like beginning parts of the stream, like early days of the stream, we uh, kind of decided that boats are cooler than trains. And so then we started saying hype boats and kind of went from there. And Daft Square keeping that hype going there with the resub as well. Thanks, Daft Square. Bolus. My schemes have been foiled. I outsmarted you eons ago. <laughs> but uh, B B R O R. Uh, I I do not know. I I do not know the per viewer. Uh, number that I get for people watching the advertisements whenever I uh, take a little break between the videos. I don't, I don't know. Will be pain. Let your weak minds crumble. Maybe I should have minus the Nickel Bolas. Nickel Bolas would still be at two loyalty if I minus and kill Wild Growth Walker, like the other Wild Growth Walker. I am Tamio. It is an honor to meet you. Well, way to be a big braggart. Look at me. I am Tamio. How'd you sideboard against a Simic Nissa deck? Hmm. All right, down to two. If I were you, I'd just surrender from battle to the grave. Hmm. Oops. That was not ideal. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I was sorry. I was thinking about the how would I sideboard against the the Simic Nissa decks, but um, against the Nissa decks, you want all of your um, ritual of sets. For sure, and you want all your sweepers and everything, and that was unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people chatter like I forgot about that too. Yeah, yeah, no, we we had that. Uh, we could have had that game. <laughs> Tree Fifty said I saw that coming. That was the first mistake you ever see me made. Oh, well, I'll, I'll make some more for you. Don't worry, Ugh, don't worry about it. I'll make some more mistakes. That is what I get for mocking her voice line. That's a good good call. I deserve that. All right. Other ritual sit coming on in. I mean, so I assume this is a Cry of the Carnarium deck, or like, you know, like they're going to be playing Cry of the Carnariums. I don't like facing Cry of the Carnarium too much. That card is... or so, Not Cry of the Carnarium. That's the card we just took out. Uh, Command the Dreadhorde. There we go. I assume they they are a command the Dreadhorde deck. So that is the card that I don't like facing too much. <laughs> da 
I guess I'm just going to take out Angrass Rampage and just replace it with Elder Spell because of Tamiyo's passive ability. That's reasonable. So Ashiok, yeah, I could have played, Ashiok would probably replace Narset. I was looking at like where I'd want to like really put Ashiok in. I don't know, I just kind of ran out of sideboarding time. I wasted some of the time beforehand. Um, I'm, I'm most likely going to bring in Ashiok for game three, because yes, I, I do think that Ashiok should be in this, this matchup, but I kind of just ran out of time, to be honest, there. So yeah, keeping this hand, uh, because Search for Escanta is great, and it's going to do all the work for me. And they're going to have... They're going to have, like, Thought Erasure here. And Dura Thought Erasure or Duress. They're going to have those, like, right now. And I'm not going to have any cards. Dang. Yeah, Search for Escanta is great. We got this. Hmm. Just the trick for this. All right, Narset dies, but save a little life there. Hasn't worked out yet. I shall miss your company. Yeah, lands are really, really good. I think people don't value lands high enough in general. Mind and body meditate and prepare. Hmm. We're not really finding ritual upsets at all. So there's, there's four of them in here. Haven't seen one yet. Surprised if we meet again. I have reached my limit. Well, if we don't find Ritual of So, we're not going to be in this very long. They just not have the fifth mana. Dueling you will be excellent research. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. All right, well, this doesn't work with Tamiyo out. The cold bolas will resonate throughout the multiverse. All the cosmos are mine to control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So 
feel pretty bad about that first game. That would have been a good one to to win. It'd be tough to get this from here. The the two mana three two three mana four three. You know, just the the branch walker of daylight. Those put a lot of pressure on you. Cards are good. I potentially could have one next turn if I waited on Bolus. Why did you like it? I mean, if I would have just top decked a different elder spell and played Nickel Bolus and then elder spell. I think I have, what, like two Elder Spells in the deck? Okay, Co coffee's still kicking in? Okay, yeah, never mind. Yeah. Thing. If I would have just, you know, I have four nickel boluses though, so if I would just draw a nickel bolus here, we'd be able to play nickel bolus, elder spell it up, and everything. So yeah, could have won the game if we just drew a nickel bolus here. And if they don't have counter magic. Yeah, so if we would have top decked to Nickel Bolas there, could have got it. Um, I mean, I can't, I can't. I don't think I could beat this Nissa. Because we're about to get attacked for eight. And then I then if I top deck ritual of soot. Then we still get attacked for another three. Even if I draw ritual of soot, which is my only out. Then we still get attacked for another three. And then we're at eleven, and then I don't I don't know what I can possibly draw after that. Yeah. This is going to kill me. The biggest thing that, that really hurt here was that as Kanta getting blown up by the, that Vraska Golgari Queen, because, I mean, you know, obviously I kept this, I kept my hand of just as Kanta and like nothing else, and so as Kanta getting blown up. Um. You know, that was. That was game. Good hand for them, though. Good hand. Uh, that game one is what I really regret. No. Uh, losing that game one when I had that pretty easily won and just forgot about Tamio's passive ability. All right, so 0 and 1. All right, keeping the land. The lands are good.
So they have two thought erasures. I mean, I don't I don't care about Kaya's Wrath. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm forever away from playing Ugin, but I think that's I think that's a card to keep though. Um, Triska Decophobia was in a different set. It was in, like, a... I don't know. Like, Innistrad or Shadows over Innistrad, maybe? Oh, Nicol Bolas. The immortal Nicol Bolas. Would of a time, planeswalker. Witness a moat of mine. Mm, Oath of Kaya is the worst card. We have a command the Dreadhorde. There are so many mysteries to uncover. Thoughtfulness before action. Ah, Dang, I was hoping to draw the land there where I could just play Ugin and, and be able to have Ugin and Nicol Bolas kill both of their things. But, you know, like, ticking up Nicol Bolas, I would not draw a card, of course, because of the Narset. Do they like have Elder Spell? Is that why they don't mind me keeping Ugin? No Curiosity and wonder, Ether itself serves me. All right. If we have a bunch of duresses, a bunch of elder spells, some Ashioks. What if we try a Mordigo here? I think we'll keep a couple of Cry of the Carnariums for Hero. Like on Mordigo naming Teferi. Ugh. Maybe not. I mean, I, I you have to cut seven cards. You're the scorn. So we gotta cut six cards, and I I kind of like all of these. Like maybe I don't get to play Ashiok and, and Ego. No, Cry's, Cry's going to be better than Soot here because it just costs three instead of four, where it's just Hero, Precinct 1, and Tokens that I'm worried about. Um, you know, it could be um, Diva Sandy, I suppose. Hmm. <laughs> 
don't know. I just don't have room for Ashiok. I gotta cut two more cards still. So I'm gonna just cut two duresses. The matchup will be a lot of us top decking back and forth. Yeah, sorry, Lolly Jaeger. I'm sorry. I was I was looking at the sideboarding. I don't I don't know what the orange flowers. I, I don't know anything about them. I've never really noticed the. I've, you know, I've just been looking at like the cards and stuff. I've never noticed those orange flowers. I don't know. Rampage is still I. So I like Rampage because you know Rampage is still you know two mana kill a planeswalker, um, but they could also have like a Basilica Bell Haunt that's that's out in play, uh, that you know could be like a difficult to kind of deal with and and uh, it does that. It, well, yeah, I, I don't have God Eternal in, in the deck right now. Why not Legion War Boss in the sideboard? I just don't know if it's really that necessary. Feels like. It's not that difficult of a card to answer, basically. And I don't. It's just not the game that I, I think I want to be playing. I know I had War Bosses in before. I don't think that that's the best way to win the matchup. I think it should have taken out Kefnet and had an extra duress in. Then we could have had duress there instead of that Kef. Could have had a duress this turn. If I would have sideboarded out Kefnet and kept in one of those two duresses. Alright, good job, Narset. Way to do your job. That was unfortunate that we had four good spells there. So they're at four cards in the graveyard. I'm at three. Oh, yeah, they have timer things. Not too surprised by the, by the Elder spell there. It's one of the reasons why I didn't want to just play the Nickel Bowl list. Um, I can certainly see Command the Dread Horde being in their hand. Yep. Especially for how my opponent was kind of looking at the graveyards and everything. If I would have played Bolas and ticked up, they could have sacked the. They could have just exiled the Othakaya and still played Command the Dread Horde here. Command the Dread Horde a card. I know a 
Keep an open mind. Do I need to find Duress or Thought Razor? Or my prowess is on my I own won't hide from the world any longer. That's probably their only two Command the Dead Hordes, right? Like, they probably don't have a third. I don't get to see these cards, do we? No. I have these two Cry of the Carnariums, and they were both, like, my only Let's take it back. spell whenever I... Um, minus Narset previously. I have just the trick for this. Spark will be mine. Give me that. And I am everything. <clears throat> Please no elder spell. Okay, that's fine. Right on schedule. So I'm tucking the Narset because it's my Narset, so I'm I'm putting it back in my deck. Instead of just killing it. This might be a bad idea. You know what? I'm not done yet. So yeah, we know we have the Narset up next now. I have other plans. My schemes are never ending. I want to exile this to fairy so it's gone for good. Sure. Oh, devil it. Because you know it gets to untap Ascanta. Don't don't want them to be able to have the, the multiple Ascanta activations. I have other schemes to attend to. I don't know. They had one card in hand. I didn't. You know, I wasn't really expecting a Dovin's veto. Um, I don't think that that's worth it to try to bait out a, a counterspell to the one card when, like, they're basically the same card. It's not really that big a deal when they've already used two Command the Dread Hordes. Kanta's probably going to bury us from here. Let's try this. I have, I have just two Cry of the Carnariums in because of Hero Precinct 1 or Thief of Sanity. You know, some people play Thief of Sanity. Um, but yeah, you know, Hero Precinct 1. Yeah, so I just have I have two Cries, and of course, you know, we've, we found them both. Yeah, see, our opponent had History Benalia right there. So I want Nicol Bolas the Ravager. That would be my best draw. Doesn't get Dovin's vetoed. I've got it. My mind needs a rest. Trust me. Hold 
that thought. Dovin's veto. Dang, they played the Dovin's veto. All right, Teferi drawing multiple cards and untapping Ascanta multiple times. We can't deal with two Ascans activations and an extra card with Teferi every turn. That's not happening. All right, so if we bring in these Ashioks and one Ego, I think I do want these cards, so let's... Hmm. Take out a Kefnet, a Liliana. Let's get both of these in. All right, here we go. Just because hero is being increasingly cut from the deck doesn't mean that I want to automatically assume that my opponent doesn't have hero precinct one in their deck. Seems like a good way to lose. That's the way I've lost multiple times to Esper before. Just saying, oh, I won't keep anything in against hero. They won't have hero. And then there's hero, and then I die. That's unfortunate, because you know I'm, you know, I'm certainly going to get rid of the Ascanta, but if there was, um, you know, if they have a removal spell for this Ascanta, then I don't have the other one. Behold, my All right, a veto and a thought raise are gone, Remember. and a small Teferi. No, not milling myself. Because honestly, I may be able to just, you know, who knows? Maybe I can mill them out. You never know. Hmm. But I know I could try to mill myself to as Kanta, but then I could also, I don't know, mill away too many win cons and stuff. You never know. So I'm not going to activate Ashiok with the Oath of Kaya staring it in the face right now. No, Ashiok says search your library. Narset just says look at the top a uh, few cards of your library. So no, Ashiok doesn't prevent anything from Narset. Late. 
Only time will tell. You need to slow down. Well, now I feel silly for not killing Narset before. I will spare you in exchange for eternal service. Don't get to draw a card, but I'm still going to... I'm not going to minus with those Othakaya sitting over there. We're going to just make them exile something. I think I maybe should activate Ashiok there and exile this to Fairy. This isn't a fight you can win. They just had another to Fairy. We need to move quickly. I will return one day. Why does Astor have so many cards? They should have less cards. I know, right? Let's skip to the good part. They have so many. That to spark was rough. Well, the only... Yeah, they found Command the Dreadhorde. The only card in, in a graveyard to get right now is a big Teferi. They already have a big Teferi in play. Got rid of two lands and two thought erasures. I have other plans. All right, so I want to draw a land here so that then I can flick, flip Nicol Bolas the Ravager. Well, I guess this is good too, though. Yeah, like if I... Yeah, I should just take this. Um... Well, I'm glad I, I took that. Um... All right, let's the third big Teferi out of there. Pull, in, pull a bunch of lands also, though. But three big Teferis. Yeah, I only have the one blue source, which is annoying, so I didn't get to actually activate Escanta. Ooh. I came into being long before your kind. So I can create. Get that as can't out of here. Your fight. 
Hexproof, Death Touch Flyer. Of the Hexproof Death Touch Flyer. Nightville Predator. Alright, good job, Ashiok. Keep that graveyard exiled. And plus, mill him out. Alright, one and one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is this is my list. Uh, yeah, this is the update list for today, Kitsune. Um, yeah, I'm liking this list. Yeah, as, as Kanta, scary. Command the Dread Horde, of course, very scary. Hmm. If I were to enter a tournament right now, what would I play? Um, I don't know. Honestly, I would I like the Team or Hydra deck. I think I, I'm like two sideboard slots short, though. I have like 13. I need to figure out what, what I'd want to play for the other two sideboard slots, but I like Team or Hydra. All right. We're mulliganing. Thought about it for a while. Shipping it back. All right, our 26 land deck. Two looks for a land. We'll take this. Our two looks for a land didn't pay out. So why kill the Ashiok even though we had... Or sorry, why, why did I kill the Ascanta last game even though I had the Ashiok? Is... See three mana this turn. Um, because Ascanta still lets lets them look at two cards a turn for their draw step. Instead of just top decking one card, they get to look at two cards every turn. And therefore it's still a card to to destroy there with, with Ugin instead of letting them get the the two cards. Really beating these. Hey, B sheep. GG's. Well, there's some three good games there that we just had there. So the higher you are, the slower the decay of ranks over one day becomes. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that makes sense because you have less people that can pass you the higher up you are. That makes sense. Because Scorn is just a better card than Cast Down because Scorn you know, has both modes. Uh, it's flexible. You can bounce your own creatures or you can just you know bounce legendary creatures on your opponent's side that like, Cast Down wouldn't touch. Stuff like, um, you know, Shalai, Tristani, Oketra, all that kind of stuff.
Just every game we lose is to command the Dread Horde. Just every game. Bleh. To be fair, we've only played against command the Dread Horde decks. <laughs> yeah. I'll have room for duress. Um, I don't know. Liliana's very good, but yeah, as we saw it against. Um, what happened to my Liliana? Against Tamio, not so much. I think I want my cards to be reactive, though. though. I don't think I really want the discard too much. So this is 63, 61, maybe I'll just take out Ascanta. These Golgari Queens eating up my Ascantas, it's been frustrating. And then I just play Narset instead. Let's try that. Look, every time we have Ascanta, Golgari Queen, and these against the Soul Tide deck, Golgari Queen's eating it up. Yes, Golgari Queen can eat Narset just as easily, but you get to activate Narset, and you know get you get the activation first, where you don't get the activation with Ascanta if it gets destroyed. The other problem with Narset, though, is, you know, it dies to Merfolk Branchwalker. So that's the real problem with Narset here. Alright, hopefully we draw land this time. Jeez. No land over there. No land. Pass turn. Pass. And land for us. Hooray. Mind. All right, let's keep drawing land. I just like hate that we're playing Unmored Ego here, honestly, because they have so many different threats that attack from so many different angles. Like Unmored Ego, kind of hate that we're playing it. But Command the Dreadhorde just is just so rough. Like maybe I just rely on Ashiox, honestly. They have just too many different angles that they're fighting from. Like this is not. Like, with all the creatures that they play and everything, this is not, you know, like, I don't want to be, like, they play Branch Walker and then they play Jade Light, then I'm playing Unmored Ego, like, I'm dead. I guess I'll just have a couple duresses.
Really, Duck? When I keep a 5 lander, we don't need to draw a land to land for our first two draws. Come on, help us out here. Help us out. You would make an excellent informant for my study. Seek and find. All right, two commands are gone. Remember, your nightmares remain. I'm thinking they may have another planeswalker here. You know, we've just seen so many planeswalkers from them, so like maybe I can hold up on Elder Spell for a turn. I I don't really want it to be Nissa because Nissa kills my Ashiok. Well, no, Nissa doesn't because they have to tap the Elf. Still with. Good. Get rid of those duresses. You will be haunted by this too. And they shocked in, so they just have they just have a counter spell. Oh my gosh. That was a terrible land to play. Yeah, they definitely have negate. Yep, wrong land. So it looks like we're going Ravager. Unfortunately, I can't even Thought Erasure and then Elder Spell because of the Tamiyo. So I'd have to like Elder Spell then Thought Erasure. So I guess... I guess it still works out, kind of. But yeah, they the now they, they get that back. Holds our future. Yeah, negate's just going to be pretty difficult to beat. And they found the Vivian. Let's see if you're. No one said not bad for a mouse. Wow. There's no negate. There's no negate. Yep, I could have elder spelled. It would have resolved. Ugh. No, I'm not. Oh, I guess I'd have to choose one. But yeah, no, if I if I would have shocked in, that's what I was would have done is just elder spell because I couldn't really afford them to keep the Tamiyo because they just get back the duresses. So I was just gonna get rid of the cards in hand, even if the elder spell got countered. Just gonna get rid of like the spells in hand. But didn't have a third black because I played the wrong land. Come. Yeah, the Sultai deck's tough. Yeah, this is both of our losses here are going to be against the Sultai deck. I mean, I did, I kept, you know, I kept my five lander. Um, you know, drew an Elder Spell and a Thought Erasure in three lands. Not ideal, but. Like, we need another Elder Spell to start with. To the library. Yeah, no, we, yeah, we can't. Ritual of Set doesn't do anything right now. Comes. This creature's like, the Tamiyo and the Vivian are just killing us. We have to find Elder Spell. Yeah, 
Yeah, Vivian was pretty rough for sure. Two more left. There's we have I have three in the deck. Okay, let's well, start. I question this outcome. Meet my newest friend. So the reason why I would have preferred to wait a turn for the ritual of soot, because um, you know, the, because with us knowing they had the jade lights and everything, but the reason why I didn't is because they could just get uh, duress. You know, like maybe they had a, a discard spell, or they could use the Tamiyo to get a discard spell, and so that's why I didn't keep the ritual of soot in hand previously, even though I would have preferred to. Jade Light Ranger is a heck of a card. Alright, so 0-2 against Sultai. 1-0 against Espa. Yeah, the negate bluff got me. Yep, good good negate bluff there. I mean I was still I was still gonna be going for it if I shocked in, but I didn't shock or you know, I didn't have the the triple black and and the reason why it was again why I need to go for it because just playing Nickel Bolas the Ravager. I mean, I probably should have just played the Elder Spell anyway, to be honest. Because just playing the Ravager meant Tamiyo minuses gets duress. Duress takes Elder Spell, so I should have just played Elder Spell. Thought Rager really wasn't that important because of Tamiyo anyway. Alright, well, it looks like Esper again. I guess it could be Bant, I suppose, but probably Esper. No, oh, it is Bant. Alright, well, we got Soot. So let's. So we don't need to kill that thing immediately. Get banted. That's what we're gonna. That's what our opponent's trying to do. I have practiced hone your prowess. All right, got a new thought erasure for this Ugin. Yeah, love me some Steely Dan there, Criticom. I have just the trick for this. Back to you. Magnificent world. All right, Narset dies. I still have much to learn. Mass manipulation. Guess I'm letting them have Ugin. Oh, I guess Nickel Bulls the Ravager is good against mass manipulation. Right, like this would have just taken out 
manipulation if they didn't have a card in hand. Okay. It's alright, we're doing fine. They could have kept that land in hand and discarded the land instead of the manipulation. Alright, we're not doing as fine now. Whoa. Secrets manifest before you. Hmm. So playing Lug Liliana or Ugin means that I'm like blocking these two twos and they, they get more cards. This means that my Ugin's gonna be dying. Bathe in ghost fire. Though, because they get to, they do get to kill the Ugin. Yeah, I didn't really want to give my opponent cards. We've had some nice draws here. Dead make great minions. Loyal. Yes. This looks like a fun new toy. So we know I know one of the ritual sets is at the bottom, so there's only like one other one in here. Yeah, Tzar. Yep, that would be a good option for you. Jeez. Kidding me? So they get two Ascanta activations? Or two, sorry, Shalai activations, whatever. Man. I can't kill his lands. They're five fives. Right? Or are they just four fours? Oh no, they're just four fours. Oh, I could have killed the lands. Oh, why did I think it was two? I thought, I don't know, I thought they had more fours than they did.
my bad. I guess I should have just killed the, the Nissa the previous turn. Yeah, I, I didn't think we were losing this at all, but yeah, just card after card after card. And yeah, I, I made a bad block there. I should have just killed the Nissa before. It just adds up. We need to draw a Ritual of Set. Or Narset into Ritual of Set. Cry of the Carnarium. If I still had Kefnet in play. If I still if I had Kefnet in play, if they wouldn't have bounced Kefnet. <sighs> what a frustrating game. I don't know. I don't. I don't even know what to say. I, mean, I I messed up the blocks, and I didn't kill the. I protected Liliana instead of killing. Ugin, those two things really cost me. I guess I should have taken the. Yeah, I should have taken the first Ugin instead of the. The manip manipulation also. So Angrass Rampage, is, I'm going to be taking that out because of Shalai. Um, and I don't know if they have Tamiyo or not. I guess they could have Tamiyo. Um, you know, we saw Ugin and Manipulations could have Tamiyo. So we're going to take out the Rampages for Elder Spells and replace one of the Cry of the Carnariums with a Ritual of Soot. Yeah, Star of Extinction would be really good in this metagame. It's hard to play, you know, it costs 7 mana. You know, the double red and everything, but... Um, yeah, no, I, I do like Star of Extinction a lot. Maybe Grixis here. Maybe I should be playing it in Grixis, like instead of Liliana. I should be playing Star.
That was a quick discarding of Frilled Mystic. They have... They've been keeping up this two mana very carefully, like Dovin's Veto. I'm going to flip this as Kanta. So yeah, withdrawing the land here, I'm just going to play the Ugin instead of the Thought Erasure. Getting that in play. So Ugin can, of course, kill Lyra. Or so can Bedevil. Let's get some more information before we determine what we want to do. So yeah, they had the Veto and they had Negate. And another Negate. And a Frilled Mystic. I'll just let them have all the disc the counter magic. It's gonna be kind of difficult to win a game three. They have this much counter magic. Hey Yud. Oh, thumbnails are ready. Thank you so much. All right, Marty mid range. Thank you, Yen. So if they're playing infinite counter magic, which it looks like with Dovin's vetoes, negates, don't duresses. Play a Duress over the Cry, even though Cry is like my best answer to Frilled Mystic. Yeah, Frilled Mystic could be kind of tough. Let's get rid of Liliana. Liliana's expensive. Yeah, Frilled Mystic's going to be rough. And so slow. I already have one Sulphur Falls. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll keep. Really would have preferred a Black Land here. No. Oh, man. Got really punished for keeping that Sulphur Falls. These are five lands that don't cast Nickel Balls, Dragon God. Should have ditched it. <laughs> I mean, I only had three lands, though.
double frilled mystic. I don't like double frilled mystic. Alright, good. Drew a black source. Dang. I was hoping they weren't going to counter that. Uh, the counter was really good because I, I can't protect my nickel bolus from dying. Jeez. We need to find Ritual of Set. And stop drawing lands. They exiled the Ugin. Forgive me. Oh, that's not even another black land. Whatever. Contempt to that. Gosh. Remember whenever I scried a land at the top? No, that's looking like a horrible decision. It's just all lands. What a beat down that first game was. I was just very out of it that that game. All right, well, one more match here. Let's try to rebound and you know make a respectable two three here. Never sit. I mean, I, I, I guess I should, I should have just kept the Narset. Uh, could have played the Narset after the Frilled Mystic came down. So their Frilled Mystic was just a big, that was a big problem. That card's really good. That card wouldn't, wouldn't have died to uh, Ritual of Sit either. All right, Esper again. No, I expected them to counter the Frilled Mystic, or use the Frilled Mystic there, but didn't have any better option. Jack. Mind and body should move in unison. Meditate and prepare. Thanks for that donation there, J-Jack. For a donation deck. There are some bad matchups for this deck, but it's a lot of fun to play. All right, mono green. Looks sweet. Arcane Encyclopedia, very nice. Not prepared for this. 
So that's a, a skip the line donation. So yeah, so do you want, so basically, yeah, J Jack, you can pick any time for your deck to be played. Do you want, do you want me to play that deck up next? Or, you know, anytime tomorrow, like, you know, when do you want me to play the mono green deck? Yes, mono green ramp. I have other schemes to attend to. All right. All right, up next. All right, so we're going to move Rural Arcbow to tomorrow. Then and... Honestly, it's just best just to keep playing this. Keep making them exile cards. <laughs> Thoughts on the new Chandras? They look pretty good. Honestly, even the uncommon one. Um, yeah, all, all those Chandras are looking good. Yeah, absolutely, J-Jack. Will do. Slow this down. So we're gonna bounce out with Akaya. Here we go. I will return what witness a mote of my power. Oath of Kaya, Thief, and Dispersal. All right, so you got six cards for flipping Ascanta. Don't worry, I got this. They might. All right. <clears throat> Definitely need to just get rid of this Ascanta. All right. Nickel Bulls, Dragon God, doing its thing. So I'll cut the three sets, keep the uh, Cry of the Carnariums in. Um, maybe add a Moment of Craving? Like, Thieva Sandy is definitely going to be a big part of their sideboarding here. Yeah, just keep a ritual in. We still got the the scorn two rampage. Yeah, basically cut cut two sets for two elder spells. That's reasonable. Um, don't know if they're command the dread hoarding or not. I think I'll kind of wait on that and just kind of go with this. Maybe after sideboard they go like more planeswalker heavy and command and stuff. I don't know. Unclear. I guess I don't. We don't really need Liliana in this kind of matchup. 
So the problem with Ashiok is them attacking Ashiok. Like, if they just have, like, the, the cheap creatures, Ashiok isn't really stopping anything. Let's just trade out Liliana for a Duress. Um, no, for third Elder Spell. All right, so we got some <clears throat> removal for early Thief of Sanity with these Angrass Rampages, or if it's just like early Planeswalkers or whatever. That's unfortunate that we drew the Nickel Bolas Dragon God right before their second Thought Erasure. That was not good timing on our part as far as drawing cards go. But thankfully, this Thought Erasure bug is alive and well. Every time they cast... Thought Erasure, they make us discard a Nicol Bolas, so we draw a new Nicol Bolas. They make us discard a Nicol Bolas, so we drew a new one. If you wish to see, I put thoughtfulness before action. So that's alive and well. Alright, in case one happens, you know, something happens to the one the first Nicol Bolas, I want a second. You know, whether it gets discarded or, um, yep. Or countered or removed or anything like that. Keep an open mind. That's unfortunate. Their three mana, they answered both of my boluses with a duress and veto. It's unfortunate. No, I wouldn't say Grixis is my favorite deck, but I really like Nicobolus Dragon God. Um, but yeah, I've played this deck a good amount. All right, Kefnet gone. <laughs> Work is dead talent. Might as well play some induced amnesia. Nice. I could keep the land in hand to discard to campaign, but I do want six mana in play. You know, we have six drops. I think I'll keep any future lands in hand if they play a campaign. Every day. No one is more prepared than me. Yeah, our opponent's got a lot of thought seizes over there. Four of them so far. Just the trick for this. I mean, it looks like they took out all their creatures. Violence. 
I'm just in here with like the creature removal. Looking dumb. So after seeing my opponent have like get the Teferi from this Narset, I don't think that Elder Spelling and then minusing my Narset would have been the best for me. Yeah, why why couldn't you have the creatures? You show remorse. I'll show Alright, I'm done with this. Um, yeah, let's go with this. I'm going to bring in the dresses also, so we can just, you know, have our discord, or sorry, discard uh, war, and then just kind of see who top decks, top decks better. Mm. I guess I just got removal spells, though. <laughs> All right, J-Jack, I'll try. I I do I do like that we have like just like the all the removal spells, so it's not like a very good hand for our opponent to use discard cuz like all of our cards are basically interchangeable, so it's just, you know, we don't have our threats, you know, we don't have our planeswalkers in our hand right now. I like that. I want to draw. I want to top deck those later. I don't want those in the opener, with all these discard spells. Everywhere. See, perfect. Top deck planeswalkers later. The focus and meditate and prepare. All right, cleared out three lands to the bottom. Good, so we got three lands we don't want on the bottom. That's good. Yeah, Dragon God is a perfect top deck in a Thoughtseize fight. And that's the plan. Put thoughtfulness before action. So they're shocking in here. So I guess likely Dovin's veto. So it certainly seems like they have Dovin's Veto.
right, good. It's not disdainful stroke. That's good. Get rid of another land. So I'm just not expecting the the nickel balls, the ravager to survive here. Hmm. Did though. That's why I didn't didn't play the land, but I guess I should have. It did survive. Yep. Punish for not playing at the land. In multiple ways, you know, if we played the land, I would have had two removal spells up in case they had one. There's a veto. Right, good, no instant speed removal. Alright, does Elder Spell resolve? They don't know about our backup, I don't think. The problem is I don't really even want to activate Narset here. With us having like that Ravager in two turns. Now what? Or like having the Narset at three loyalty instead of one. Do anything makes me discard a card. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I got a case tournament coming in two weeks for the core set. And I was wondering which deck would you take between Esper, Tempo, Sultai, or Gruel. Um, I mean, those, they're all good decks, Vladimus. I mean, it's it's kind of up to you of what you know, what you like to play, what you're what you're the most comfortable with, what what deck you think you can pilot the best through a variety of matchups. But any of them can can do well, honestly. Let's slow this down. Keep an open mind. All right, can I deal two damage somehow? Time is much more malleable than people think. Those are good last few cards I had there. Harder. All right, so they have uh, six looks at something that gets rid of Bolas because they get the, the two looks at the draw step, and then they get to activate Escanta for four more. So they get six looks here. They're at two life. That'll do it. Bleh. All 
All right, so they stabilized. And they got us Kanta. Blah, blah, blah. If you wish to see, I have just the trick for this. All right. Well, we're trying. <laughs> this has kind of been how like all of our games been going in this league. Um. Meditate. You know, just every, every deck's a command the Dreadhorde deck. And... I guess we played against one deck that wasn't a command the Dreadhorde deck. What? It was an odd... Odd choice of zero targets. For Elder Spell. I know my responsibility. I'll protect you. Okay. Put thoughtfulness before action. Unfortunately, I can't play Nicol Bolas plus either of these other two Planeswalkers. Like, I can't play my... My creature and either Planeswalker. But I could play the Azkanta. But then the, the Teferi gets to bounce the Azkanta, though. Also. Yeah, so I'm gonna just Ugin and start making two twos. They give me more cards. Here goes nothing. I'm a little surprised they didn't like kill my two two here first and then duress. You know, either bounce it with the fairy or kill it with the tyrant scorn or whatever. Ascanta's busted. That hurts. Oh wait, no, they can't. They can't play the campaign. Okay, good. Well, they just they, did. They just no. They did activate Teferi. They ticked up Teferi. Never mind. Basically forcing them to use the Tyrant Scorn here. I'll get my Kefnet. Hey, 619. I've got time. Uh, at least... Liz, what's your question? What's the deck against whom you take the least pleasure to play. Okay, so which which deck do I like to play against the least? Oh, it's it's Esper by a long ways. Right? Yeah. Like I guess Nexus 
It's kind of like Nexus last time. Even Nexus, I didn't I didn't like the deck, but I didn't really mind playing against it. It's like real. It's pretty. Pretty straightforward. Ether itself serves me. I have a few openings for more minions if you're interested. I know all there is to know. Uh, no, no, Ar no, Arcbo today. Gruel Arcbo's moved to tomorrow. Got a donation deck. We're gonna play instead. But I'd, I'd say right now, yeah, Esper is the the deck I like playing against the least. Just Esper has everything. And the games, you know, like they just, you know, they just have everything. Well, that's not good. I won't forget it. Uh, no, I haven't put the good call yet. No, I haven't put. I'll go ahead and put the mono green list up on Stream Decker. That we'll be playing here in a little bit. So they need Othakaya. Please don't get Othakaya. All right, beat down by two twos. Lost connection to the server. All right, so we went went two three with Grixis control here. Um, and every every match was really really close. I guess the first one wasn't. Not, I guess the, the Soul Tie one. I guess the two Soul Tie ones, we kind of got beat up. Yeah. We definitely could have won the Bant one. It's close. Could have lost both those Espers that we won. Uh, they were very close. Could have gone either way. <clears throat> So yeah, Command the Dreadhorde still just is still just really, really uh, difficult to beat. Um, I think the Liliana Dreadhorde General was the the least impressive card here in the main deck, and I think it should probably just be an Elder Spell. Having an Elder Spell in the main deck, and. Probably just best for us to like. Should we just play our own commands? The thing is, we just don't have life gain at all, so we can get cheesed out by Othakayas and everything like that. Um, I think I did kind of like Ashiok. Maybe in for a third Ashiok. Maybe or maybe just fourth Elder Spell. I think I did like Ashiok. Maybe not so much on Mordigo. Definitely want that elder, that at least one elder spell main. Uh, want that first one main there. Ugin was very good. Dragon God, of course, incredible like always. We could play some negates. I don't. I, don't, I hate having dead cards against Little Teferi. And everybody's playing Little Teferi. I guess like the the Soul Tide decks weren't. The Soul Tide decks were were pretty tough. Um. 
I still like the two. I mean, you still run into mono red, and and, uh, and that's what our two moment of cravings and two enter the god eternals is, of course, for that matchup. The the moments are in the sideboard. <clears throat> um yeah negate can, negate can counter command the dread horde um so yeah i mean we could play some negates it's just you know having teferi in play which is we saw those games like teferi was in play quite a bit Honestly, you probably just want four Elder Spells. Okay. Maybe we don't need this Tyrant Scorn. Actually. Well, if we just have two Elder Spell main, <clears throat> take out that Tyrant Scorn. We still have the Rampage. I mean, we have all the Sweepers, right, with the Cries and the Ritual of Soots. Um, That's what I want. I want, instead of one of these Egos... Let's get a Star of Extinction up in here. Yeah. Let's get one star. For those matchups where, you know, even Bant, Sultai, all those kind of matchups where we can just have our have a reset button. Yeah. There we go. What do I want Ego against? Not really anything. I mean, it's, it's very good against Phoenix. Not many people are playing Phoenix, though, these days. I mean, it's, it still shows up, though. But we got two Cries, two Contempts. Got some blockers. Yeah, why don't we just play some Star of Extinctions? That should be our, our card against, like, yeah, like Bant Ramp that, uh, you know, puts so many permanents into play and everything. Um, that can help us out there. Definitely possible I don't need all these Ashioks. Um, that, that could just be over overboard in there. And maybe I need a little bit more against aggro. But I do like Star of Extinction a lot. Especially how those games played out. Star felt like it could have been a good thing to have uh, access to. Yeah, in that case, that is true. If we have the Star of Extinctions, we probably don't need the four Ritual Sets then. It's a good call. Let's go against Sultai. I guess maybe I do just want some negates against like the Sultai deck, because the Sultai deck doesn't the Sultai deck isn't playing. Yeah, maybe I do. You know, they're not playing Little Teferi. Maybe a score, scorn in the sideboard. I don't know what I want to do with this sideboard slot. For that soul type matchup. Maybe just another cry of the carnarium for Phoenix. And of course, mono red, mono white. Could go fourth duress. Yeah, I mean, we, I don't, we probably don't need three Ashioks, but maybe not. Ashiok is really good against Sultai there. 
So maybe we won it. Um, that Sultai matchup was kind of rough. Yeah. Yeah, Sultai, or yeah, Ashiok is very good against Sultai there. So we basically have a free sideboard slot, kind of wherever you want to help your matchups out at. Um, there's not like a card that's that good against Frilled Mystic, I guess. I don't. We could have like a discard spell for creatures, but meh. Frilled Mystic's definitely the card from the from the band deck that I'm most scared of at this like at this point. Maybe a disdainful stroke. Silent Gravestone isn't so bad. Um, yeah, I could have another Angrass Rampage. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with that slot. I like the two star extinctions. I mean, there's a lot of cards that are like reasonable, but nothing that sounds that really sticks out. Definitely want these Elder Spells. Um, maybe it's just another two mana removal spell. An extra Ravager. What do you mean? What's a Ravager? I don't know what a Ravager is. Like Angrass Rampage? It's a, it's a Ravager. Oh, Nicol Bolas the Ravager. Oh, this this card. Um, no, I want to want another that one of those. Could see another Kefnet. Kefnet's good at, at against aggro with that five toughness. Could see another another Kefnet. Maybe just a scorn. Maybe just move that scorn to the board. Something that's good against aggro, good against Wild Growth Walker, and Krasis being able to kill those. Gruel. We probably need something else against Gruel, honestly. Hey, it's okay, O's. Maybe it's another contempt for Gruel. For the Gruel matchup. No, Scorn's Scorn's good. It kills Spellbreaker and everything. But I mean so does the these ritual of sets. Um Yes, Enter the God Eternals is from Mono Red. Thanks there, uh Chaos. Thanks for that resub. Alright, maybe just that. I don't know. If you have if you're watching this later, you have like something that you really want to play in the sideboard. That and the third Ashiok, those are a couple of kind of open slots. I'm going to try the three Ashioks against the, especially against the Sultai decks, but probably want something else for the Gruel matchup. And Scorn can help out there. Uh, Lava Coil is not bad. Lava Coil doesn't kill a big Krasis, but it does get rid of Rekindling Phoenix, and I like getting rid of Rekindling Phoenix. So yeah, just having a coil is not bad. And coil does, you know, exile. Can't get it back. Yeah. Yeah, coil's good. I do like I like coil answering Phoenix. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Alright, uh, we should probably wrap this up here though. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And um, you know, Grixis did play pretty well. Uh you know, it was a little rusty with some sideboarding, and it made a couple of mistakes in a couple of the games, but they were a lot of real close games, a lot of good games. Uh, that 2-3 could have easily been the other way as well. Um, but there we go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there on YouTube if you're watching later on. Uh, but that's it here for Grixis Control. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you for another video.